Hey, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. So this video will show you how to automate a VB script so that it runs as a scheduled task. Now, the great thing about that is that basically, if you're familiar with using um, VB script, you're able to actually automate a lot of different um, actions in Excel, Outlook, and Access. And uh, actually, I use it uh, to do a couple processes that I've created. So basically, in the morning around 6 a.m., um, a number of tasks actually run. So first th thing that you got to do is you got to basically create the script. Now, if you already have a script already, I'll just make sure that it actually runs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text file. I'm going to just call it anything I want to call it. I'm going to open a text file up. And then basically, I'm going to actually just set up some code in here so uh, we're gonna do hello world and then basically this echo function will just be an uh, an actual message box so once you set that up you're gonna go save as and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna save that VB, um, VB script as a dot VBS um, file extension and then as you can see once you do that I have two files now because basically the save as will, will create a, a new file. So once I click on that script, it should be an error message. Uh, should be a, a message saying "Hello world." Okay. So now I've created the uh, script. So to actually do the scheduled task, what you're gonna do, uh, and just so you know, uh, this will work on Windows 10. Uh, the the syntax is a little different on Windows 7, but the way I'm gonna show you is gonna work for Windows 10. So from here. Uh, we're gonna go to our task schedule uh, we're gonna open it up and then from here we're going to go to action and create task okay and then from here uh, we can name the task whatever we want to name it uh, we're gonna set it for uh, configure for Windows 10 uh, we can set our triggers to where it can run uh, anytime we want it and there are a lot of different options you can set it to where it runs every day it runs uh, on certain days of the week uh, exclude certain days you can basically set it up uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it to where it runs um, every day it's gonna reoccur every day and then it's gonna basically uh, run at the same time every day and uh, make sure you hit enable you're gonna hit OK and then the actions is the important part so what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna go to new and the program script name is gonna be the actual you're gonna type in uh, w script dot exe and what that does is that it's gonna generate the uh, the actual scripting service uh, for Windows and the argument is going to be the file path for the script itself. So from here, we're going to go back into this file path. We're going to put in this, uh, and it has to be in quotations. You, we're going to put in the script name, and we're going to do that um, W script, and we're going to do rrr.vbs, and we're going to put it at the end. So basically, this file path here should actually run the script itself so i'm going to show you real quick so a way of knowing that it's going to work is basically if you're able to uh go into um your windows explorer and actually open the file up if it if it does that then, then it means that the file path is correct so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and open up um this script and just make sure it's working right of course take out the um the syntax and I'm gonna make sure that's that's correct. Yeah, it is. Okay. So a after you run it, it should run. So you're gonna press OK. So basically, again, you're gonna put the the actual full path, including the file name, into quotation marks, and you're gonna set that as the um, the the add arguments section. So you're going to basically put it here. You're going to press OK. And uh, there are a couple of other options. Uh, 
you can make it to where it wakes the computer up. Uh, that's more for um, for like a laptop computer or power save computer. Um, so yeah, you, you you can of course change those settings and kind of play around with it. So we're gonna press OK. Okay, and then from there the script should be added. So I'm gonna go back to my task schedule or task scheduler library, and then from here we should see our new task. And then from there, we're gonna basically go and run it. So this is our new task right here. And it's set to run at 918, but I'm gonna go ahead and right click on, on this script and I'm gonna hit run now. And then from there, you'll, you'll see that the script actually runs. Uh, so again, the, the important thing is that you wanna make sure that, um, again, uh, I'll show it to you again, just so you, you're aware, because and um in Windows 7, uh the syntax is a little different. But in Windows 10, which is what I'm using right now, you're gonna do the, the script. Uh basically the program script is gonna be wscript.exe and then the full path of the VBS script in quotations. Um so yeah, uh, I guess let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh this is my first video concerning automation uh i actually do a lot of automation at my job and i actually do it uh in my personal time as well um so yeah if you want me to make any more videos uh i guess just leave a comment like the video share it uh subscribe to the channel hey thank you bye